What's up everyone, Kyle here, and you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today is the last day here in the yard of Alabama Ironworks to get these old axles off, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So we are here in the yard of Alabama Ironworks. Uh, in the previous videos that we did here, we were really getting the frame ready for sandblasting, removing some old metal, finding the rusty spots. But today is the day to remove these hideous old axles. And everything here is so rusted. The bolts and nuts are rusted on. It is going to be a pain to remove. I got a few tools though. Got some, uh, you know, the proper parts here. But then also a key element we're working with today is gonna be this, just help lubricate those bolts. Also this penetrates rust, so hopefully that'll make this a little easier. Once we get these things off, I am so excited to see uh, how light the frame is or how heavy the frame is. So let's get to work. All right, so that first one came off uh, fairly easily, I have to say, and I do give credit to this uh, three-in-one oil because I think that really helped penetrate the rust. So that's good, we got this one off. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up all the rest of them to the point where they're almost off, but I don't know if I'll remove the axles today because we might wheel it down to the sandblasting area and then just easily remove the axles then. But either way, I still got a lot of um, loosening to do. So let me do that and then uh, once I wrap that up, we'll talk about a few of these other pieces that uh, we'll be working on here in the next few days. So let me get these loose real quick. y'all so all the bolts are pretty much loosened up and um, the axles are in the position ready to come off I'm keeping them on here for the time being like I said I think earlier to wheel them over to the sandblasting shop but uh, once we get it over there we should be able to knock these off pretty quick one of the things that might be more challenging uh, once we have to actually remove these axles at the sandblaster is these torsion springs I guess they are right here uh, let's see yeah there you can see them right this thing yeah right here I think I'm just gonna have to get a hammer to those and uh, knock those off because I got the bolts off but um, they look pretty rusted into place I don't think it should be much of an issue with a crowbar or a hammer to get those off we're obviously gonna get new shocks so that won't be an issue but they weren't really budging with me today now needless to say I didn't come prepared with a ton of useful tools today. So that was uh, my bad on my end. I was just coming by here to kind of assess the situation. And I thought, well, I might as well try to get these things off. So, you know, I'll be better prepared next time we're working with these. But now I want to talk to you about um, the potential lift we're going to do. So let's swing over here and uh, show you where I think that's going to happen and what videos I'll be referencing. So just a second and let me show you where I'm talking about. All 
right y'all with that b-roll that i just showed you that is kind of um so this is obviously the old axle but the axles look almost identical as far as the structure of them goes so where we're thinking about putting this lift in and where the lift uh, traditionally takes place in these airstreams is right here um, in between the axle here and the frame so pretty much what goes here is a block and this block then attaches to the axle you see these holes right here um, so this these can then bolt in to the lift block we put in here which will probably be about um, three inches I'm guessing so yeah there's a better, another view of it. These will drop down. There will be a block here that's about three inches. Going across, we'll weld that in, and then we'll bolt the axle to that. We'll also bolt the axle back here. So this plate right here, um, we'll modify that plate as well, make it a little larger, give the axle more support, bolt it in there as well. And that is the idea for the lift. I'm gonna reference the video. Um, I'm gonna show you, there we go. I'll reference the videos from um, The More We Explore. They did a lift themselves. Now, Airstream sells a lift kit. It's like 120 bucks, I think, 150 bucks. But it's for these parts that, you know, ridiculously overpriced, it seems like. So we'll be working with the welder here and to make this lift happen. So I'm excited about that. You know, not only will the lift happen, but there will be so much reinforcement done on this plate right here. Oh uh, yeah, let me show you. Yeah, so. Pretty cool that this Argosy Airstream came with the original 1979 chrome hubcaps. Now they're not that chrome anymore as they have seen some serious uh, wear and tear and aging over the past 40 years almost. But what I thought we could do and what the um, gym up here at Alabama Ironworks suggested is that you know we sandblast those, get them nice and pretty, and then we can um, plate them with chrome and uh, have them looking really sharp. So whether we use them or not, uh, I think even if we had those chrome originals replated, that we could at least sell them. And that might, you know, someone else could use them if we're using the more modern type of rims and tires. So that's a possibility. I really kind of uh, thought that was interesting. What do you guys think about that? I don't even know if they have much value, but it seems like most things that are vintage Airstream and original retain some sort of value and that some collectors who are interested in that restoration aspect of it and more than just a renovation could be interested in that. So that is always a consideration. Mama, I've got a feeling that I'm onto something. Wings growing on my back and the best that I feel when I think back and I check myself. y'all back at the camper we're gonna call it a day here working on the Argosy uh, it's one of those days where it just doesn't seem like we're doing much work but it's these little steps we're taking to really get ready to do a lot of work here in a short span of time today when I'm filming this is um, what is it it's Tuesday so today so when this video comes out which is tomorrow I have a gig down in Lulu's and Destin but then when I get back on Thursday we are doing the sandblasting that day and then we'll shortly thereafter, just within days, start re-welding the frame. And then shortly after that, get it coated and painted. And then we're gonna be ready to bring this baby back uh, to here and get these things attached. We'll have the axles on, we'll have the lift done. I mean, so I'm so excited that all these things are gonna be happening within the next week and a half, two weeks. This is gonna be some big progress. And uh, sorry the video wasn't super entertaining today. But you know, it is these small steps that we take each day that get the project done. And don't, don't make it feel so daunting because we're doing these small steps every day.
So hopefully you guys liked the video. I'll put a link below here so you can watch the Argosy playlist if you want to get up to date with all the Argosy renovations we're doing. But thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to check back tomorrow for our weekly Q&A session. Later on guys.